YouTube. Today I bought another BMW. Uh, this is a 2008 BMW X5. This is the V8 model, the 4.2 liter. And we're we'll gonna be checking this car out. Um, this is actually my first X5 that I bought, so I don't really know much about these cars. Of course, it's making a weird noise. We paid thousand dollars for it. So let's do a walk around and see what's up with it. We're gonna go take it for a drive and see if we did good on this one or not. All right, guys. So first things first, you can see on this side uh, the fender is cracked. Uh, so that was the big first thing I noticed when I bought this, uh, which had a lot to do with the price. It was just one of those deals. Sometimes you get lucky. Uh, if you look enough, you might find stuff like this. And I look a lot, so I find stuff like this a lot. guys let's start off with this walk around and um, honestly for twelve hundred dollars this is a steal i would say let me know what you guys think um uh, this is a silver color obviously and i could see a little bit of hail damage here and there um we do live in colorado so that's a pretty common thing with the cars fender looks huge it looks like it's this whole Piece that wraps all the way around from here looks like this piece right here got cracked off too we also got some damage down there it looks like this fender wraps all the way up there and I definitely am not that great with bodywork so we'll see how we do with that um, but besides that the rest of this side of the car looks to be in good condition um, Nothing crazy going on here. Hardly even scratches or anything. Looks like we have a little bit of paint damage here, some paint chipping and, you know, I'm not expecting much. Uh, roof looks to be in good condition. Looks like right here on this rear tail light, there's some paint. So maybe, actually, I'm not even sure that that's paint. That might be something else, I'm not too sure. Maybe they hit something. Um, around the back, the only thing I can notice that's missing back here is the rear windshield wiper is missing. And uh, looks like this isn't even missing, it's just out. So, let's pop that back in. Like so, maybe. And looks like this housing is cracked right there for the lights. Mm, this bumper's in pretty good condition overall. Besides this piece right here. Wow, it's really crazy. You can see the fenders are like part of the bumper, it looks like. like that is a, I have not seen that, but usually, obviously, I don't do SUVs, so... Let's check out underneath it. Let's see if we got any leaks. Ooh. It just looks very muddy and dirty. I'm sure it has its fair share of oil seepage in places, but honestly, it doesn't look like anything crazy down there either. So, so far it looks like, looks like I did pretty good on this one, guys. Let's check out the interior. I have to say, I've had an X3 before and was not a fan. This is definitely a big upgrade. Um, feels a lot more luxurious and nice and just way cooler. Uh, these seats are super comfortable. If we hop in here, there's actually two vents like stacked on top of each other. It's kind of the first for me that I've seen. Um, we got the big iDrive screen and this is the old iDrive unfortunately um nice wood trim which is yes cracked and it's kind of weird so like in the three series for 2008 wouldn't have the shifter i would have the old style shifter that you see in some of my other videos like the 325 wagon uh the three series shifter but they moved to this and some newer technology 
with the X5s first. And you see that with some of their other cars too. Um, so I guess probably just because they sell faster. But it looks like we got heated seats. Um, and this thing's got a lot of options, man. Uh, parking assistance, got a backup camera, hill descend mode, uh, looks like a latch for the back trunk. All sorts of stuff up here. Uh, Auto H, I'm not even sure what that is. We got a sports button. It's just weird how different uh, BMW vehicles, they change like that. And this, we have center console, which I haven't even looked in here. It looks like we got some change, a uh, little tool here. It's kind of cool how this opens up. There's one button here one button right here and there's another button right there opens up like some suicide doors it's pretty cool uh, looks like we got aux an outlet down there a usb port quite a bit of room here compared to you know your regular three series quite a bit of room um but yeah overall feels pretty familiar Oh, looks like we have a heated steering wheel option on this car too. So this car is pretty optioned out. Uh, so it's looking pretty good for me. Looks like we can change the steering wheel um, if we want it close or up or down with a button. It's nice. Adaptive headlights. Let's check out the back. So back here, um lots of room definitely lots of room back here i mean i have the driver's seat scooped back pretty far and i still have plenty of leg room back here uh definitely is going to need this detail we're going to do a speed run at the end of the video stay to watch that and then we got some climate controls here look like we're missing a button um Nothing crazy. I think we get a pocket back here. Wow, pretty deep pocket too. Um, cigarette outlet here. Some storage on both sides. Let's see what we got here. Looks like this folds down. That's kind of weird. I think there'd be like a table here or something. Some cup holders or something. Looks like that just folds down so you could stick something through. Nice black uh, roof. Headliner. Ooh, and we have the side vents here too. We saw this in the Porsche. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, go watch that. We got side vents here. So it's kind of familiar. Uh, looks like we got some pockets down here. Ashtray pockets. Some good storage here. And of course, one of my favorite features that I never use. We got blinds in the back. So just lift up. Definitely did not know that. So yeah, it looks like this. Uh, this Pacific X5 is pretty optioned out, guys. self-opening uh, i did notice this the other day it's like a two-piece opener to the back here pretty cool um i guess it's kind of lacking on room back here but it is a mid-size suv not full size looks like we got uh jumper cables a spare uh, and this vehicle also has um air ride suspension which I think is malfunctioning, but it, not too badly. I don't think this works. Oh, wow. Okay, that's the first BMW I've had with that feature. Um, check out this side, same thing. Pretty dirty in here, but I think after a good clean, it's gonna clean up really nice. Looks like we got the... Uh, Oops, window shades here too. Pass 
passenger seat. Let's check out the glove box. Is there a glove box? Holy shit, does this car not have a glove box? I don't think I've ever seen a car that does not have a glove box. I don't see a latch for it anywhere. I don't think this has a glove box. Uh, let me know, guys, in the comments if you have an X5. I could just be being stupid, but uh, I don't see a latch or anything anywhere. Pretty weird. And you could just really tell this thing's got quite a bit of room in here. Pretty nice. All right, guys, so I'm not going to do too much driving in this video. Uh, maybe we'll make a part two if this video does all right. But um, just because of the water pump, uh, you know, I ordered the parts. Well, obviously, we don't want to we don't want it to completely fail and tread the belt and all that on us. But uh, yeah, drive this thing uh, feels it feels like a freaking tank, man. Uh, much bigger and heavier than the X3, obviously, which size comparison might not seem like it, but uh, it is. Uh, and overall, I mean, it drives really good. And twelve hundred dollars. This might be one of the nicest ones uh, I've gotten on the channel so far for the price. Um, so yeah, drives really good. We're gonna get it washed up, see how she cleans up, get her all vacuumed out. Um, we'll go from there. I gotta be honest, it cleaned up super nice. Uh, I was looking for a fender today, and unfortunately, no luck locally. Found a couple on eBay, so might have to go that route. Um, but yeah, I think it cleaned up really nice. It's actually in a little bit better condition than I was expecting. Still some dirt on the ground stuff, it's not perfect in here, but um, definitely looking a lot better. The back. The trunk. Looks like it's holding a lot of water in there, so. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, I think I did pretty good on this one. So if you guys want to see part two, do the water pump, um, you know, leave a comment. Like the video, that helps a lot. So yeah, thanks for watching.